some 3D is out, and it's very interesting because it brings 3D capabilities to almost anyone that works with images. And here I will break that down for you in around 10 steps visually to try and explain how it works. So essentially, we start and the process starts with an RGB image uh, and a mask. Unlike humans, computers see image as a grid of pixel on a flat surface and Sam does what it does. It's the extract high level features using Dino V2 encoder. And instead of guessing directly the 3D shape, the model will start with random noise that I modeled here as a sample of point clouds. This is chaos. And it will learn a velocity field V0 to flow this noise into a structured steps or shape over time. And this is what it does. After a time, the particle will converge to form an occupancy grid. This is something I really love because finally you get this voxel uh, representation, a coarse voxel representation that define the topology and in this case the chair that we had initially in a 3D space. So it doesn't stop here because the 3D object isn't just a shape, it has a rotation, a position, um, translation scale, so everything relative to the camera. This is what we have, right? After that, we have another like modules, let's say, that acts for texture refinement. And the core shape is not enough. The, this second model will condition the voxels and paint high fidelity texture, and it will also handle occluded areas the camera can see. And finally, uh, training starts on a ISO 3DO, million of synthetic 3D assets. The model will learn perfectly the geometry in a vacuum, but it will lack real-world context, so this is what it does. And at the end, to, to bridge this gap, essentially, we paste the synthetic object into real photos. So this is a render paste, what we have in the paper. And this will teach the model, essentially, how to handle light, shadows, and occlusion. So this is super interesting. And down the line, you have this model in the loop framework where you generate multiple candidates, and you will ask a human or robust 3D artist to select the best one. This is super interesting because down the line, you have a robust 3D foundation model. It can handle complex in the wild images and generates high fidelity uh, actionable 3D assets. And this is Sam3D. If you want to check out more, check out down below the links that I have for you.